Hi, we're Helen. And today we're going to be showing you how to do some bricklaying. Power tools from everyone! Today we're going to have a go at bricklaying. It might seem a bit scary at first, but when you've got the right tools and the know-how, it's actually quite simple, but a bit messy. <laughs> We're going to show you how to do a simple construction. It could be a barbecue or a simple planter. Anyone with an outdoor space can have a go. For this job, you will need masking tape, glasses, a dust mask, gloves, a spirit level, a soft brush, bricks, a trowel, mortar, spade and a bucket. So the first thing you want to do is to get your space in the garden where the plant is going to be built. You want to make sure your area is nice and clear, so give it a good brush to get rid of any dust or debris. Before you get started, it's a good idea to check the weather forecast, just in case your work might get spoiled by the rain later. So for our planter, we're going to be using three bricks. By two. So getting the first layer straight is really important, so we're going to measure it out to see if we've done that. To know that your bricks are straight, you want the bubble to be in the middle, in the centre of the two lines that should be either side. So we'll take it on this side, and if we just line it up there, the bubble's in the middle, so that means these bricks are straight here. And we'll put it on this side, the bubble's in the middle there as well, so it means we've got a nice right angle there. Once you've measured out that first right angle, you want to get something like masking tape or chalk, and just place it down so you know where you're putting the bricks later on. The marking of this angle is really important because it's going to act as a guide for the rest of the bricks. Okay, so now we've got our bottom layer in, we're going to be building it up without any mortar just so that we can see what shape we're going to be building. When you're laying down the bricks, it's important that they're staggered, so you don't want this bit in line with this bit. You just want it to be like that. It just gives it a bit more strength and durability. Power tools for every woman. Power tools for every woman. Power tools for every woman. So the next step is to disassemble and start preparing your mortar. And the mortar is just the glue that's going to be holding the bricks together. And for this we're going to be using a pre-mixed mortar, which is going to make it much easier than mixing sand and cement. So now we're going to power up and get our protective gear on. So have masks, glasses, and gloves. <laughs> I don't really have this on roll. <laughs> so this is really important that we protect ourselves. The mortar can get everywhere and it just saves us from breathing it in. So we're going to be using a litre of water to every quarter bag of mortar. We're going to chuck them in the bucket and mix it with a spade. So we've got the right consistency with the mortar now. It's like a, a thick buttercream. And so we're going to be ready to start laying bricks. Yeah! <laughs> Love it! Power tools for every woman. Power tools for every woman. So once you have the right amount, just use the side of your trowel just to do kind of zigzag patterns. This will create some air and some grip for the bricks to stick to. So now we're going to take our first brick and just put it face up like this. And take your trowel, with a bit of mortar on it, and just slap it on top like that. And use a motion just like you butter in a piece of toast to spread it out across the top of the brick. And you want this about a finger's height as well. This will just stick the bricks together at the sides. And now the brick's ready to be placed down. Don't worry if you don't put it down perfectly straight. The mortar's flexible, so you can move it about. You just want to check that this brick is straight, and we're going to do that with the spirit level again. So you want to check that it's straight this way. So we'll place it down like that. And it's leaning a bit to this side. So just take the back of your trowel and use that to bash it in a little bit until it's a bit more straight. Take your spirit level and do it the other way. So it's a bit higher on this side. Just going to bash that down again. Okay, and now our bubble's in the middle, so that means the brick's straight. So to complete this row, just do the same process with each brick, buttering the top and putting it down as you go along. 
So we've got our first row down. What we're going to do next is just get rid of the excess mortar. That can be used again. So we'll just scrape that away and dump it back into the bucket that we're using. We're going to do this side and just use a bit less mortar because we're only using two bricks. And again, you just want that a finger's width as well. So now we've got that brick in place and measured out. We'll just repeat the process for the rest of the bottom layer, just making sure that each brick is measured with the spirit level each time. Okay, so that's our first layer complete. So we're going to start laying the mortar for the second level and we can just like slap it on. We need a bit more because the holes in the middle um, need to fill and this will support the structure. And then give it a bit of a spread out. Something quite therapeutic about this, isn't that? Okay, so we're going to continue the same process on the second layer, buttering the ends of the bricks and placing them in the same sequence that the bricks cross, just so that we've got some strength to the structure. That's about right. And that way. We're just going to use our trowels to scrape off any excess mortar and just fill in any gaps left over. And then after that we'll use a soft brush just to get rid of any mess around the corners. Alright, so now we're finished and it's time to tidy up. We're going to take the brush again and we're going to brush down the sides, make sure it's all clear of um, debris and leftover mortar. And then we're going to leave it for about 24 hours to dry and then it's time to plant. I was used 30 bricks and we've done three layers. We'd probably suggest sticking to around three or five layers. It just makes it a bit easier and it just ensures that your structure is stable. And that's it. A simple planter made in an afternoon. Job done. <laughs>